So right here I'm in class ceramics two. So we're and thinking about the theory is showing yeah, us how to part. make a picture. So you can have right one now he you is centering it in the middle, middle so it will be even on all so, sides. And right here he is taking extra clay off. Sure that's not nice needed so when and you build it up it won't be uneven right here professor theory is making sure it's centered because if it's not centered it's going to be more clay on one side than the other so when you pull the picture up it's going to be not even where to the point you're gonna have to start over. So right here, we're at the point where Professor Theory is actually opening up the picture to where he feels for how wide he wants it to be and the thickness at the bottom before he actually starts Pulling style, the picture up. Flip it over and trim it off. And you'll kind of understand that as I do this. So right here you can see that he's starting to pull the picture up to where okay, he wants the height to be. This is actually a five pound ball of clay he started with and he's making sure that all the clay that he used is going up and working with him because if you're not working with the clay the clay is not going to cooperate with you pressing the bottom pushing down super hard, but I am making that bottom more smooth so that there aren't any ridges or anything like that. And now, I can start the line. Right here, you can see that the clay is going up and he's making sure that the inside is smooth where there's no ridges on the inside and he's making sure that the rim isn't too thin but it's not too thick either making sure that he adds more water to the clay because if you don't add water the clay tends to get sticky and smudges out while you're working on it. We're talking about you want the width of the opening to where your arm will still be able to fit inside so you'll be able to finish your picture and smooth it out from the inside. Right here, he's talking about leaving the top part of the picture more thicker so where he can make his spout 
to where whatever liquid you put inside the picture will be able to pour out more easily versus leaving it round. Right here he's talking about if you make the side more round, the top is going to shrink down more when the side is wider. So right here he's going to see what shape he wants his picture to be or to look like and he's going to try to do it right here it looks like it's going to be more bigger at the bottom and skinnier and round at the top so right here he's using a red tea to make sure that it's great and also take some of the extra clay off the pot and while doing that he's actually smoothing out the clay picture so i like how like full that looks but i'm right also thinking he's about talking how about doing smoothing the inside and outside so that there's no sharp pieces interfering with the flow of the water or whatever liquid that's pouring out of it. Right here, he's actually about to make the top part of the cooler picture neck smaller and more skinnier. And he's going to be talking about making a spout and handle once the clay has stiffened up more. Right here, he's actually trimming it versus waiting for the picture to stiffen up and flip it over and trim it like that because it's easier to trim it while it's standing up versus when you flip it over it's gonna smush the picture down when you're trying to trim it that way and right here he's talking about the bottom and the top width and how the bottom is close to the same width as the top part He's talking about round, if he wanted to, he can make the top part round, but he would have right to now, wait really until wet, the clay stiffens up, up because it's um, very so soft and wet to where you don't want to mess so far, with it because it'll mess it up. Yeah. This is five. 